Hey everybody, it's Colette with Blessings Craft Therapy with another project. Tonight, I had an idea for a patriotic sign. So this is the stuff I use. Let's get started. So first I take a plunger handle from a Dollar Tree plunger and I remove the label and then I cut them into, th I cut it into three pieces. I also have a wooden star cut out from the Dollar Tree that I painted white. And then I paint one of the little pieces white, one of the little pieces blue, and one of the little pieces red. I am using chalk paint for each of those and the star. Look at how pretty that is. Yikes. Anyways, then I had this really cool idea. Oh my gosh, I have this awesome napkin from my bestie. So I put it into, so you have to make it into one ply. I put some Mod Podge on the star, and then I put the napkin down on the star. Oh my goodness. Then you take a piece of, I have a sanding block that I, um, sanded all of the edges. Then I take a piece of really thick jute and I tie a knot and at the very end of the knot I cut. So this will make it easier to put on our little pieces of wood to make them look like little fireworks. It's gonna be so cute. <laughs> Anyways, all right, so I did three of those. Next, I dry brush because you know I have to distress stuff. It has to look primitive for my decor. So I just dry brush each of the pieces of wood that we're going to be using for our fireworks. And then we're also going to do the same for our star that we put the Mod Podged napkin on. So much fun. Look at how fun that is. Anyways, so now that our star is all dry, we then go through and make sure that we dry brush some distressing on that. I also went through and sanded some of it too. All right, then I take my hot glue gun and put a little dot of glue at the top of our little wood piece. Put that um, piece of jute on and look at, oh my gosh, do that for each of them. And then I went through and sanded them because I thought they needed to be a little bit more primitive. Um, I did some sanding on the star as well. And then I take the three little pieces and I wrap some jute around them and just tied it in a simple knot. And after that, I took some jute because you know I love jute. Um, I wrapped the jute also around the star because I just wanted to kind of tie it all in together. Now listen, if distressing stuff and the primitive vibe isn't your thing, leaving it just regular vibrant colors looks amazing as well. So obviously, do what your decor and your style say you should do. Um, so this is just me putting some, wrapping some jute around that wooden star, just because I thought it, it needed a little something. But again, if this isn't your vibe and you aren't really thinking that the jute is gonna work for you, don't do it. I love jute though, so. And then I just tie it regularly on the back. Um, then I take a nice dollop of glue in the center and I glue those little fireworks on it. Oh my gosh, I love it. Friends, I hope you'll try this project. Don't forget to follow for more.